Now, if there's one class of tools that a lot of woodworkers can easily get caught up in is layout tools. I don't know what it is. There's a guy who worked here at Woodsmith, Randy Maxey, who had a soft spot for layout tools and had basically an entire tool cabinet dedicated to the fun tools that you can find for setting up your tools and for marking and measuring. But I want to talk about three tools that you probably have some of them already in your shop that you could use and another one that you can get relatively inexpensively. So let's look at them. The first are just washers, regular washers. A lot of guys I know have a coffee can full of them. You know who you are. There's two ways that you can use washers. Now, a lot of times on a project, what we need to do is to just put a simple radius just to soften the edges and eliminate something that you're going to bang your hand or your hip on. So you can just line up the washer on the corner of a project and trace the profile of it. There you go. An easy way to create that radius. And the exact number doesn't matter, but you could dial in these with using a calipers to find out what the size are. The other thing that a washer can come in handy for is to create an offset around a project. So say you wanted a, you know, you had a given piece here and you need something, just an easy offset around it. So I can put the washer against the piece and then put a pencil on the inside of the washer and just roll the washer along around outside. There you go, a consistent reveal around a workpiece for creating molding or adding trim or whatever you want to do with it. Another way found item that you can use for layout is a hinge. The one I'm talking about here is a nice high quality brass uh, butt hinge. There's no play in the leaves. And what I use it for is a saddle square. So I can take the hinge, set it on a piece, fold the hinge over and now I can transfer and mark layout marks from one face to another knowing that those two marks are going to be perfectly aligned. Now I'm going to say that these hinges are a little bit pricier but in the long run having one laying around in your shop to use for these kind of situations is really going to pay for itself. Now the third layout tool that I want to talk about. This is the low cost one that you can pick up at the hardware store. No doubt you've seen brass and aluminum setup blocks, you know, where you can use to set up, say like the height of a drill bit or the fence on your drill press, even the depth stop. But those sets can be really spendy. So the thrifty part of me went to the hardware store and found some key stock. Now the keys are used to hold a pulley onto a shaft. You can buy them in long lengths, but they also have them in much shorter pieces and, they, and they're available in a wide variety of sizes. So this little set here that I have probably cost me 12 to 15 bucks to put together total. And it goes all the way up from, or from a half inch down to an eighth inch. Now I have a couple of quarter inch ones that are the exact same size because I use that one quite frequently. The nice thing is you can mix and match the height of these to dial in a specific height that you're looking for, whether it's a dado blade or a router bit setting, even a handheld router. These come in handy for a wide variety of tasks. I used a Sharpie to write the size on the ends of them and then just keep them in a candy tin. So there you have it, three found layout tools that can really up your game when it comes to creating accurate work in your shop without spending a lot of money.